The World Tourism Organization, UNWTO, is the United Nations agency in charge of the promotion of responsible, sustainable, and universally accessible tourism. My guiding principle is always to help people engage in dialogue and try to understand each other's point of view. I do my best to help them get together, overcome their differences, achieve mutual understanding, and come to a realization that peace is the greatest good in life. UNWTO's membership includes 158 countries, six associate members, and over 500 affiliate members, representing the private sector, educational institutions, tourism associations, and local tourism authorities. The number of tourists in the world keeps growing. Relations between countries and visa policies are becoming easier. All this gives the world an opportunity for economic development and tourists a chance to travel more. Destinations worldwide received over a billion international tourist arrivals between January and September 2018. 56 million more than in the same period of 2017. Tourism could make a significant contribution to developing our economy further. We have never developed infrastructure that would allow our tourism industry to grow. Organizing tourist trips to Jordan promises much, at least for Christian pilgrims. At the site of Jesus Christ's baptism, there's a guest house built for pilgrims by the Russian Orthodox Church. Austria is a very safe and stable country with breathtaking landscapes. We work hard to protect our environment, preserve the unique and stunning nature of the Alps for future generations, and of course, give tourists the chance to visit our beautiful country today. The Bulgarian government is making great efforts to develop tourism, which accounts for a huge share of the Bulgarian economy, already well over 10%. Many tourists have been visiting us lately. Over the last three years, we've seen a major growth in tourism. There is no other country more attractive today than Argentina. This is due to the changes the country is undergoing. And besides, its capital is a city that is hard to beat in terms of cultural values. All regions enjoyed an increase in international arrivals, led by Asia and the Pacific up 7% and followed by Europe and the Middle East, both up 6%, Africa up 5% and the Americas up 3%. Nowadays, cooperation between countries is exemplified in the development of tourism. A huge number of tourists visit Sri Lanka every year. Our tourist season is in the summer when the number of tourists is at its maximum but we have so many places worth visiting and many weather-friendly opportunities, which make off-season a great time to visit too. UNWTO generates market knowledge, provides competitive and sustainable tourism. It fosters education and training in tourism and works to make tourism an effective tool for development through technical assistance projects in over 100 countries. In 2019, we plan to develop the UNWTO Academy. We've announced the first competition for innovation in the field of tourism and have already received over 2,000 interesting projects from around the world. The final key is investment. Education, innovation and investment give us an opportunity to achieve our main goal, generating employment. The tourism sector accounts for 10% of the world's GDP. One in every 10 employed person in the world is involved in this sector.